Hey, what's up, you animals? Welcome to your Watt Explain for Thursday, August 29th. Pretty sure I have that date thing figured out. Not 100% sure, though. But it's Thursday's workout. That's what we're talking about. It's a strength day. And uh, if you're an Olympic lifting fan, you're going to really love this workout. If you're not, you're going to learn to love this workout. What we're going to do is uh, warm up with the, our specific warm up is going to be the Bergener warm up. Uh, the coaches are going to take you through it. So what I want you guys to do is uh, do it with an empty barbell of your choosing, just like we did just last week. Uh, and you're going to do um, three reps of each movement as you move down the list. The coaches will take you through, they'll lead the class and, and we do it all together. Okay, so that's how you're going to properly warm up and prepare for the workout of the day. It's a strength day, and what we're going to do is an Olympic lifts total, as opposed to the CrossFit total, which is powerlifting movements. We're going to do it with, uh, this is our own special thing. I invented it, so, um, you know, if you see it anywhere else out there on CrossFit, especially CrossFit.com, they often, you know, check in with us to see what's going on with CFA, you know, so they uh, get the latest and greatest uh, new and exciting things that are going on. They check with us. I know that they do. They don't know that I know, but I know. It's all right. They can take the credit. Olympic lifting total, which is snatch, five sets of one to find your one RM max for today. And then clean and jerk, five sets of one to find your clean and jerk one rep max for today. Take lots of rest in between. You know, we're still on a timetable, of course, but uh, you want to make sure you're warmed up properly, and you have five attempts to uh, claim your new 1RM, okay? So we're doing that both for first the snatch and then the clean and jerk. I would like it to be a squat snatch and then a clean snatch into your split jerk. That's what those lifts are. That's how they're done so that people can, you know, that's really the only way you can get the most amount of weight up overhead for both those movements. So do it. Uh, if that means you have to kind of segment segment the movement, kind of get it up with a power movement, and then go down into that squat, so be it. Uh, but technique trumps all other things, and the coaches are going to be on you guys like, um, you know, insert cliche here. Uh, so that's how we're doing the wad, okay? Then for your cash out, being that it's a strength day, we're going to do five rounds for strength development of the power snatch, 10 reps of power snatches. And you're going to use 50% of your new 1RM max that you got today in the snatch. So um, if that weight, if your skill prevents you from doing as much weight as you probably could, um, then use an appropriate weight, being that we're doing power snatches. You want it to be a strength uh, workout. So five sets of 10 um, to supplement what we've done already today with those two movements. So five sets of 10, take about 60 to 90 seconds rest in between each round and get a good uh, strength development kind of slash speed technique, wad, you know, I mean, cash out uh, to follow. I'm completely off the track. Train, gone, the whole bit. So that's it. I hope you understood or had a better general idea of what we're talking about. It's going to be a fun workout and I hope you enjoy it.